Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where I'm trying to get some last minute videos in before I go to Italy. So hopefully this video will go up and I'm having a great time in Italy. <laughs> but we'll see how how many videos I can get out. I will definitely have a good time. Um, but let's make sure, was there anything? I didn't think I needed to talk to anybody. We just finished, um, I keep trying to press J. Um, the Asari wished to speak to us, the Asari counselor wishes to speak to us, but we do have a lot of things that are adding up, so I think I'm going to run around, and now that we have all our friends, first I'm going to run around and talk to them, and then I'm going to run around trying to pick up some of these uh, fetch questy ones, and then possibly, possibly we'll do our oldest mission, which is starting the Leviathan DLC. Um, and soon here, at some point, we'll be able to do the Citadel DLC, which is boop, 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 the Shore Leave one. Uh, but I want to give us a little bit of time with Tally first. So I want to do probably a little bit of Leviathan, and then at first uh, some some fetch quests because if I leave those too long, especially with another priority mission coming up, they're going to start adding up so fast. They do have... The game's like, listen here, you could probably chill, and I'm like, absolutely not. Geth corpse. Uh, Geth platformed are armed. And they are smarter now. Beth. Beth equipped. I cannot talk. Many Geth vessels are built to explore or mine. They are capable of engaging hostile forces. Unbound by the Treaty of Farrakhan. That's a good point. They build many dreadnoughts almost as the Turians, right? Like, there's, like, a specific set of numbers where, like, the Turians are allowed to have the most. Or there's, like, a percentage thing where, like, Krogans aren't allowed to have any, you know? Uh, Turians are allowed to have the most... And it's like Asari and then Solarian and like humans in there somewhere. I can't remember. And like the Elcor and them, I think, and the Volus. Like I think they can have like a couple. They can have like two. <laughs> um, to be fair, the Volus specifically are a client race of the Turians. So the Turians provide them with military cover, essentially. And the Volus provide them with money. Looting the Geth heretics depleted Geth numbers, giving the Quarians an advantage when their flotilla begin the Tal Renek. As a result, damage to the Quarian fleet is not quite as extensive as projections estimated. Well, why are you giving me a Quarian fleet update in the Geth fleet? Hmm? Hmm? Riddle me that. Is the Quarians in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Good on that. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, he's watching, so I was like, what is he just kneeling there? All right, I don't think anybody's in here. Also, I, I just uploaded a video today where I, I mentioned it in a in a, the description. But if anybody knows of a mod that gives Miranda a more, like, I'm not talking like Shep, like my current Shepard levels of muscular, but, you know, a body that doesn't have noodle arms and, like, actually makes her look like a super soldier of sorts, but not, like, like, I know she's supposed to basically be, like, an infiltrator unit, you know? So, like, I get it. But I wanted her to look more toned and less like she had pool noodle arms and, like, sticks for legs. Um, but all I could see is, like, weird mods that, like, make her face more feminine. You know those weirdos got with, like, Aloy and stuff? And they're like, women's faces don't look like this. I'm like, obviously you have never gone out and talked to a woman. You just look at, like, porn on your computer. You know what I mean? Like... Aloy had, like, hair on her face, like every human being does, you know? Like, just, like, little fine hairs. Every human being has those. She had, like, uh, the, like, slight, like, skin discoloration a little bit, which is, like, pretty normal, like, in, in a lot of people, where it's, like, you get slightly reddish skin a little bit on your cheeks, you know? Like, that's normal, you know? And she had, like, a normal-shaped face, and then they're like, here's an AI image that we, like, cobbled together, and it gave her, like, Pixar eyes and, like weird lips and like and it was like okay <laughs> like uh, it was just so weird and it was just you you got i got my you guys didn't do crap but you guys kind of did we just showed the galaxy 
All I did was point the targeting laser at him, and you got like the the ship shot the lasers out. So, Commander Admiral Hackett is available in the. I knew he was on there. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us. Yeah, it was really dumb. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers. Yeah, I wish I could have been up here seeing that. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first, I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious, just <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow uh -huh. up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight or flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosion. If I was Male Shepherd saying that, I would have been so upset for a trainer. Like that sounds quite patronizing. It could it could be. <laughs> but uh let's see. Let me see. I found work to do from Tally. Yeah, you're at Adams in Engineering. It seems like the best place for me to be. Perfect. From Shalaran Vashranok. Uh, which is significant, right? Because now they have the name of the planet instead of the name of the ship. With assistance from the Geth, our fleet is nearly back to full strength. We have focused most of our efforts on providing evacuation assistance and support for the Durian fleet while the Geth harass the Reapers. Even with our newfound peace, it seems foolish to risk an incident by putting our, our forces in close proximity. Yeah, that's smart. I understand from Admiral Zen that the Crucible project continues well, although Zen herself seems dissatisfied with the technological capabilities of the device. Though eccentric, she is also brilliant. Hopefully she will also find some way to improve its functionality. I would never have believed you would talk hand down, Commander. Take care of Tali Zora for me. I will. Uh, also, I don't care. It's one of those, like, you know, Zen is one of those people where it's like, oh, we keep this person around in our workplace environment even though they're toxic to everybody because they're, like, such a genius. And then they get away with everything that, like, nobody nobody should get away with. Like, the amount like, like the amount of toxicity that one person can, like, ooze out can, like, ruin an entire, like, office building. You know what I mean? Like, they're not working. It. Cut your losses. Send them somewhere else where they can bring down other people. You know what I mean? From Diana. Ugh. It may be hard to believe after what we just went through, but the rest of the galaxy is barely where the Corians ever went into the veil, let alone started a war with the Geth. We're sitting on a major piece of history here. I have material from all the players except you. Can I get into your cabin for an hour and get your thoughts on vid? And then she's gonna like... I don't know. I think she... You can kind of be like... You can interpret something that she says that's coming on to you, and she's like the most like wooden board person ever she's just like oh no i'm not interested in you that way or it's, it's so awkward it's so awkward um let me go talk to joker since i'm in here and then i will go back and click i thought i didn't see like a light blinking on the vid oh maybe i was on the wrong spot no i think it's the one where i was standing in when i came in oh well anything any any tidbits gotta hand it to you commander that's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. I did, did I did, didn't I? I did definitely <laughs> just go, hey, stop it. <laughs> I couldn't kill again. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like, I figured they deserved a chance. Thank you, Commander. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price Good of Good point. One. We didn't lose any. Except Legion. Except Legion. Yeah before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah, so? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Get Consensus. It was a person. <laughs> That's what I feel. <laughs> well, when the Get fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to him. But it's so, it's really sad. It actually really is sad. It's on your mind, Edie. I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, yeah. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. Mm. You're saying the Geth turned on the Corians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory, but it is limited to a well, synthetic society. Well, and maybe it became a... The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers. 
and we do not know if they govern by consensus as guests do. That's do me a favor. Yeah, don't. Ask. I mean, that's an interesting uh, suggestion. Whereas, like a group that form that that operates by group consensus, is potentially also going to take its its own group, like like, in, like entire safety as like a unit as as a group priority. Like if there is an outside threat, the the consensus group is like almost like an individual like survival instinct because but it's like multiple pieces because it, it's like the get consensus right. You could kind of I guess refer to it as like a singular entity if you want to really generalize, where it's like its survival instinct is to survive and keep as many of its components functioning as possible. And so, in a more individualistic society, like she says, with like the individual heuristics, like it, like humans, and you know, sorry, and stuff like that, uh, and like her, where it's like you can have differences within a group because they don't all think the same, you know. Um, anyway, I don't really know. Where, I do know where I was going with that. But it's kind of like it's interesting, right? Like instead of making each individual geth unit think its own way and have its own opinions which could have which would schism the group as a whole right they instead operated as like one unit being like oh now we're under threat and we want to survive so I, I bye bye you know what i mean like okay you guys are like an obvious threat and now we are going to turn as one against you whereas the koreans were split right like some of them didn't want to destroy the Geth, and some of them did, and it was a whole thing, you know? So, anyway, <laughs> let's go back and see what Admiral Hackett wants. I can't believe they shut this whole room off from me. I mean, I kind of get it. There's a bunch of empty rooms in the ship now that nobody really uses, and so they were like, okay, let's just not have that one open at all. But still... I mean, like, this used to be the, the lab. Now it's, like, the, 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 the meeting room. That's where Joker, I'm pretty sure, went down when we were invaded in Mass Effect 2. Like, where he went down into the bowels of the ship to escape all the nasty things. Yeah, you're not beeping at me. Commander, something on your mind? Um... Is this... Maybe he was on... Did you want me on the other one? I don't know. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? We're getting there. And with the Reapers pressing their advantage across all fronts, we don't have a lot of time to catch I'm up. I'm stressed. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. What about the Turians and Krogan? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. Had that female Krogan you rescued survived, she might have rallied more support for yeah, the Yeah, thanks for rubbing my nose in it. Get. Thanks for rubbing my nose I'm in it. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. Uh, I don't know if I've talked to him about all this yet. How about the Asari and Salarians? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. And believe it or not, they promised us the Destiny Ascension. They haven't forgotten you saved it three years ago. And the Salarians? They sent the entire fleet as a thank you <laughs> for rescuing their counselor. I guess they managed to overlook the genophage cure. See, I don't, there's like, there's literally no reason to not do the genophage cure. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. We're just building in, in general. Hindsight, I guess they know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful. And violent. Mostly Vorchai here. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnar Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. 
When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth well, it. Well, that's good. What's the Reaper situation? It's not trending well, even if you did buy Radix some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. And now the Asari are a prime mm -hmm. target. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. We'll soon find out if that means anything. Yeah, well, not without me, apparently. If I may, Admiral, I have a personal I question. do love this one. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Why put me in charge of all this? Because you're the only soldier in this whole damn navy who knows how to kill Reapers. You just have to be smart and hope you get lucky. Anyone can figure it out. Your dossier says otherwise, Shepard. You stopped the Batarian slavers on Elysium all those years ago. DLC. What you did, the people who survived that ordeal still thank you by name. And because of that, you think I qualify to save the galaxy? Shepard, let me tell you something that I've learned the hard way. All right, way. I'm ready, Grandpa. You can pay a soldier to fire a gun. You can pay him to charge the enemy and take a hill. But you can't pay him to believe. I don't follow, sir. When you went up against Sovereign, there was no good reason to believe you'd win. But your crew didn't seem to care. They went along anyway. Your trip through the Omega-4 relay? That was a suicide mission, if there ever was Not Alliance, one. either. Yet there your crew was, standing beside you, proud to serve. Why? Because they believed in you, their leader. That's what I need now. Where we're taking them is liable to get pretty hairy, and I know you're the one who will get us to the other side. Oh, well, at least, uh, everybody will go willingly. Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. Hack it out. Bye, Grandpa. Anderson's my dad, but he is my grandpa. Deliver most of the galaxy at war as assets to the final. Anyway, what? Why are you peeping at me again? There's nothing. Stop be being me. Okay, so there's nothing over here to click on. Okay, Hack, I just wanted to chat, I guess. But not about anything specifically. He just uh, was like, I'm available. And I was like, all right. Command. Unless he's going to contact me on my personal computer up in my room, which is another option. <gasps> my jellyfish. Wait, uh, are you feeling okay? You doing good? Come on, Dad. Okay, you're good. Uh, just making sure. Just trying to get feel for everyone. Jelly, my jellies are still alive. Yes. Okay. Invite. Uh. <laughs> fine. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to. Why talk can't we talk in her room? She's on her way. Come I don't want her. This is my safe space. I don't want I'm her. Sure, you got a million questions. I narrowed it down to forty. Let's see how you do with the top ten. Uh -huh. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? I mean, you know, some humans did that back in the day, so like, I don't know, do you want all the aliens to like not like us because we had some people a lot of people actually who did crucifixion type stuff back in the day or there's that really horrible method of like evisceration essentially crucifixion i guess where like it happened in the witcher 3 and it's a real thing that used to happen where they would stick uh, you um naked uh on a pole but they would put it up your rectum and you would slowly go down throughout the day and it was like the worst thing i have Pro I actually was I was really traumatized after finding out what happened to that witch in Witcher Three, and I or yeah, sorceress. She was a sorceress, and uh, yeah, no, you recover her body, and like they don't show all of it, but like it was horrifying, and I felt really, really, really terrible, and it is an actual real thing that used to happen, um, and humans can do really, really, really terrible things to each other. Um, but the entire group is not ostracized because some of us did really terrible things to each other, you know what I mean? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics. 
to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. Yeah, but now... What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? I mean, they reprogram organics, too. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to do that argument, we're all buku screwed. You know what I mean? <laughs> but also, the Geth have been upgraded. The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I'd bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... A Batarian asking me that. Rough. So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Okay, that went well. Did they remove an awkward scene? Or maybe that comes up later? Maybe they removed it, which is good, because... That was really awkward, and I didn't like it in the first game. All right, goodbye, little buddy. Little buddy. I want to get a mod where I can put Thane's picture on my desk. I want that. Did I feed my jellies? I think I did. Okay. Let's go down and see where everybody is. Woohoo! Nobody's in here, but I will. I don't think anybody ever goes in here, which is fine, which is good. This is where Shepard goes when she really wants to be alone. <laughs> Her room has uh, video access, like a, like, a, like, a, like a buzzer, you know? I don't like that. Got the flush. Mm. Just you two? Full house. Caught it on the river. Shit. Nah. Thought you were bluffing on the flush. Good for you. Cannon, Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, Major Alenko, sir. Yeah, now you're playing. You're playing cards, though. You don't. You don't get to have. Uh... Is that a tiny little computer? Shepard, I'd deal you in, but Vega just cleaned me out. Oh come on! That really as deep as your pockets go. No sentimental crap stowed away. Investments. Oh my gosh! I got some land on the Sunshine Coast. I could put up. <laughs> I'll pass. Hey, Commander. Hi. I'm glad you boys are having a good time. Bonding. Caden learning uh, everybody's names and stuff and hanging out. I don't think there's any real reason to go in here anymore. They really did. The ship feels weirdly empty with nobody being really in here, you know? Like, I have much less companions than before. The NPCs don't talk as much. So I do I do find that odd. I don't think anybody's in here, but I'm just making sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like a bunch of underutilized space. But man, every time I play this game, it sometimes is like pretty long stretches of time between playing. And, uh, this is so shiny. It's so beautiful. Another Reaper gone. And peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. I mean, it wasn't a full and Reaper. people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There's still too many wounds on either side. But... Maybe. One day. Yeah, that's a bit much, Liara. The migrant fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Yeah, Hackett. I know. Remember me that the Geth are our friends. Maybe we're not supposed to shoot the big robots. Allied assistance and asked for our status. Ha <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, they're, they're, I mean, I know things are hectic, but there definitely should have been an announcement, like, but then again, I don't know how many people would believe it, you know, they'd be like, oh no, our lines have been hacked, and we're not supposed to shoot the Geth, so seeing the Geth not retaliate is probably the best way to do it. Peace between the Geth and Quarians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. And next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. I mean, they are. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I managed that one, too. You're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these That's days. That's nice. 
Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. In this time of like, that's a, I like that shout out from Garrus, right? Where he's like, don't forget, like during these times of great violence and loss and grief, like you are creating peace that was like, literally in some cases, centuries or a thousand years long of divide you know so that is that would be something i think that shepherd could take with her like you know she tries to sleep at night you know it's like listen you may not have much going for, may not feel like you have much going for you but you you have brokered some incredible peace that nobody thought was possible oh i always feel bad these two aren't here where'd she go oh there she is okay commander we're not gonna talk about Tally. Adam's always liked Tally. Can't be. No. Well, I guess that's right. Haha, <laughs> tricked you. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd sent any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. That's incredible. Geth are even uploading into the suits of... What? They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. That is wild. That's like a symbiotic relationship almost. Kind of, maybe not quite as detrimental as like Anders and uh, Justice and Wynne and her faith, you know, spirit, where it's like a willing participant in a sort of possession, kind of. Interesting. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. Do your suits have that much? They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. That's, how can a machine do with an organic thing? That is uh, not explained very well, but I'm happy for you. So the Corians won't have to wear those suits anymore. It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Yeah, I think it'd be hard to Today, get rid of them entirely. Manoc, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, is that anything? I was thinking something. I don't know. I can't believe my people are working. I mean, it again. is pretty wild. Do you see like the texture on like her freaking suit? Oh yeah, the suits. Um, I think you can start walking around maybe without a faceplate or like maybe even like a partial faceplate because I think a society where like you are often like your face is obscured. Um, there are certain social cues that that develop in response to that. Uh, that allow you to communicate like with body language or with like you know your hands or like just a specific way you tilt or move or whatever you know um so that would not go away entirely um and the suits are convenient like they're nice you know but like you wouldn't have to and they kind of offer some protection and they have like you know they're obviously very pow like pretty powerful if they can house like a, a singular geth entity you know um so yeah I mean, and they're cool looking. Breaking now, the Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Mm. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle. See, this just stresses me out. I'm like, I got all these things to do, and then I hear these call, like from Hackett, from her. It's like all this stuff, and like where things are like. It's like, oh yeah, you're doing great, but we are falling rapidly, and I'm like, uh, you know. Always good to see you, Commander. Thanks, Cortez. God, I don't want to worry about weapons or anything. I just don't care. Let's see. That was everybody, right? Make sure. 
Specialist Trainer, Edie Joker, Yara Garrish, Chocolate Jaden, Jaden, <laughs> James and Caden, new ship name, uh, Tally, oh, I didn't talk to Javik. How dare. Come back. New. You not chit chatting with anybody today? Another Reaper has died. I mean, you are proving that humans are capable so It's not a full reaper. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. Uh -huh. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. I know. And these quarians. Let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. Yeah, well, you were weird about them, about the quarians to tally, so... The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one yeah. with the Well, reapers. we gotta end our internal Diplomacy conflicts. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms mm, do. Questionable. Sometimes that's just a uh, mutually assured destruction method. How do you see with only two eyes? Evolution has taken a strange turn in this Why, well, did all of you have four eyes? Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Do not care okay. what others think. Do what you must. I do what I must, which is caring about what other people think. Not necessarily about me personally, but like about each other, you know? Only, I mean, it's like, you know, it's sort of like, uh, what's the word? Um, optimistic. But only together, I think, really, could we hope to defeat an enemy as vast as this. Also, we only defeated a Reaper Dreadnought. We didn't actually defeat like a full Reaper. You know what I mean? It was like the second down, you know, not the first one. Um, but, you know, it's better than nothing. If it puts up morale, I can't complain too much. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. So, And with that, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. This is, again, just sort of the generic outro I'm doing while I'm in Italy. Uh, some of these episodes will be a little shorter. Some of them will be a little longer. Uh, but I did my best just trying to make sure I had enough while I was going to be gone. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the episode. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond and his support of me in the channel and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.